Hello everyone, my name is Katie, I'm the introverted reader and today's video is going to be a book review and I haven't done a book review in here in a while but um, I just after reading the particular book that I'm going to be reviewing today I was just like I have so many thoughts and feelings that um, I just need to get them out and the book in question is A Kind of Spark by Ellie McNichol or is it just L? Is it L or Ellie? Please correct me but um, I'm assuming it's just L but I recently just finished this the other day and I actually read it for the Friends Readathon that I'm taking part in this month and it's a middle grade and I haven't read a middle grade in so long. I mean the closest I've gotten to middle grade as of lately has been Rick Riordan's books although he's venturing more in the young adult now but anyway. Nope that's a lie. That's a lie. The last middle grade that I read was Arusha um, which was like a, about a month or two ago now but anyway we're talking about this one. Um, so anyway, this story is about a young girl called Addie and she's like nine, ten years old and um, she is she has this wonderful fascination with sharks and she carries around this little pocket thesaurus that her sister gave her as a present which is so cute because she she gets it out every now and then to look up different words and like tells people what they mean and like use them all like she's so wonderful and so smart. Um, but she's also on the autistic spectrum and she doesn't really let that define who she is like she's just like it's a part of who I am yes and it can maybe restrict me from doing certain things or like prohibit me from doing certain things but and socializing for her is a little bit difficult but you know she just wants to make friends and live her life as she chooses and it's beautiful but anyway so she lives in this wee small town in Scotland and um, she hears one day during a school trip that um, in the small village where she lived there was a time of witch trials meaning that innocent women and like other people um, were seen as too different or too outside the norm and were pinned as witches and were wrongly executed for it. So whenever she hears about this she is just so unbelievably outraged and hurt and sad and she wants to create a memorial for all of them that were wrongly executed and um, that were wrongly executed but then whenever she puts the idea to the village council they are flat out like no we're not doing that because it's a sad and horrible time in our history and we will not have things that represent sad and horrible times um, going about in our town like what would I do for tourism and all this but like Addy is so adamant <laughs> that she wants this to happen because she sees herself in these people that were wrongly executed and were wrongly um, basically killed for simply being who they are. And you know she kind of makes it her life's mission to raise money for these people and to get the memorial out there because she doesn't want them to be forgotten. And like I mentioned Addy is on the autistic spectrum and I believe this is own voices as well. I believe Elle McNichol is um, on the spectrum as well. And I listen it's been a while since a book has made me tear up and this made me tear up several times mostly because I just wanted to reach inside of this book like if I had the ability to jump inside of a story I wanted to jump in here and just rescue Addy from the horrible and disgusting abuse and bullying that she got from her teacher in this book like just warning you about that her teacher is the absolute worst like she's this older woman who just despises Addie for no apparent reason is just the most ablest piece of shit I've ever come across in my life and it made me tear up so many times like just scenes with her in the classroom because been there done that you know like I have definitely had I have definitely been on the brunt of many a teacher um, just deciding to humiliate me because I'm maybe that bit slower than everybody else and just the fact that this woman just felt the need to make Addie's life miserable simply for this poor child just being who she was just made me physically ill. <laughs> it made me physically ill and like like I said been there done that but like if any of you are out there are students or pupils in a school or whatever and you've ever had a teacher make you feel that way my heart goes out to you 
like you don't deserve that whatsoever and like I was genuinely worried about <laughs> reviewing this book today because I was just sitting here like I'm gonna get to talking about this and it's just gonna send me back to when I was Addie's age and I'm gonna I might cry but I'm not going to cry in this video it's not going to happen um but anyway so she has this really close relationship with her older sister Katie who is also on the autistic spectrum and she is in university and all the way through like their bond is just wonderful because it reminds me of the bond that I have with my own sister because both of us are on the spectrum and although she got her diagnosis before I did I didn't get mine until I was like 24 but like another issue for another day but um like I said it just reminded me of the one between me and my sister like there's three girls there's the older one who's like normal or whatever and then there was Katie who was like the middle child and then there's Addie who's the youngest and just the way Katie or sorry Addie's face would just light up when her sister came home was just so cute and just like so heartwarming and like how Katie was like her number one supporter and how she was just like inspiring her like never let anyone tell you no like um like people are like leaves and you're uh you're a tree like you're not gonna blow away and whatever like she's just oh I can't even remember the full thing she said about the trees but like it just made me feel all of the feelings like and um as well I want to give a trigger warning as well for bullying in this book like I said not just from the teacher but there is a student in Addie's class as well that is just, again, the most vile piece of shit. Like, why do people feel the need to be bullies? Like, why do you feel the need to be a bully? Like, why? What is it about people that are that bit different that makes you want to bully other people? I don't understand. <laughs> like, are you just jealous simply because I'm not afraid to be myself? Like, is that it? Like, it just, oh, just reading those scenes. And I will say, a certain word is used against Addie in this book. You probably know what that word is. I've never had that word used against me or my sister. And believe me, had someone called my sister that word, they wouldn't have a leg to stand on and that's a promise. But like, um, Addie gets called this particular word and like my heart just broke into a thousand pieces for her. And it's just, mm, this book is absolutely beautiful. This story is absolutely beautiful. Addie is the sweetest. She is so smart. Like she is miles and miles smarter than any of the dumb people in her class and it just it's just it definitely like and there's like a part in here where like she really like has to stick up for herself like she basically gets called mentally ill and she just looks him dead in the eye and she's just like I'm autistic autistic is not a mental illness can someone print that on a t-shirt <laughs> like I would gladly wear a t-shirt that says autism is not a mental illness like I'm not sick like it just oh like whether you're on the spectrum or not, I highly recommend that you read this because it definitely gives an insight into what like young children and adults as well that are on the spectrum go through like day after day. Like it's just, I need you all to read this. I need you all to read this and I need you all to love it as much as I did. <laughs> like I need you all to love it and cry over it as much as I did. So you can probably guess that I gave this five out of five stars. So again, if you haven't read this, I highly recommend you do. It's really short. Like I literally had this read in like a day and a half. I couldn't put it down. So anyway, that is my review for A Kind of Spark. Again, if you haven't read it, I highly recommend you do. Um, my next video is going to be coming very soon. It's going to be my February TBR video and I'm really, really excited about it because I had my Twitter followers <laughs> choose what books I'm going to read. So that was fun. Anyway, my Twitter and my Instagram are down below as always. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so that you know when my next video is coming out, which will hopefully be sometime either this week or the weekend. I'm not sure. Anyway, bye.